Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sarah Seckler here. Today I'm so excited because after over a year of waiting, because I missed out at the end of 2022, when I discovered the Midori Hibino, I pre-ordered this on Amazon Japan back in July of this year, and it is currently August 1st, and they arrived today early. I'm so excited. I almost screamed when UPS got here. Very excited. So I thought it'd be fun because when I thought about buying these, I wanted to see as many videos as possible showing the details. I couldn't decide. So I actually bought both kinds. Now this is an A6 planner um, and it's got daily pages, but what's unique about it is that there are two pages um, per day. So you have a two page spread. And, oh my gosh, they're just so beautiful. So it's like super thick. They are an A6. They only come in A6, but they are stunning. Stunning, stunning. And yeah, so I thought, why not just get into it? I almost don't wanna like open them because they're so pretty. Um, but we'll go ahead and I'll show you everything. I'll show you everything about them. Okay. So I guess we'll start with this kind of, cam I think it's camel brown color. This was the original one I wanted, but this color is just so beautiful, but I couldn't decide. So I may end up selling one of these. Probably not though. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, wow. The, I just feel like it's such craftsmanship. Um, even this paper's nice. I'm just totally geeking out. So here it is. It's, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this material. It's kind of like a leatherette, but it's the most leather feeling cover and it has this like texture and you've got the gold foiling. It says 2024 Habino. And then on the on the spine here, we've got 2024. It's just, oh, how beautiful is that gonna look? What, what I really love about this, it reminds me a lot actually of the five-year Hobonichi. In fact, let me see if I can grab that real quick. I wonder if I have it close by. Yeah. Okay. So this is the five-year Hobonichi, which I have been horribly not consistent with. I wonder actually if I could use this cover with it, with this. That's actually, I hadn't thought about that. So this is the Hobonichi five-year and this would be the best comparison actually. So the Midori is, I believe it does have more pages and it is thicker. The Midori, I don't believe has the Tama River paper and this does. So it could just be that this paper is a lot thinner. But what I will say cover comparison wise, they're similar. This definitely has a more like plasticky PU leather quality to it. This one definitely feels nicer. Honestly, this quality is way nicer. So just, just stunning. I just want to take a ton of time to show you just how beautiful it really is. Okay. So now I guess we can do, let me move some of this out of the way. A little flip through of what's included. So you have that and then on the inside you have your 2024 and 2025 annual calendars. You have this future log area which is really nice and the grid, we'll get to the grid, I believe it's smaller on this. Um, so it starts in December 
which is nice with the, with the calendars at least. And you've got January, February, March. I believe it goes just to December through 2024, I believe. Yeah. Oh, no, it does do January too. And as you can see, it's like, these are so close to the spine because it's just so, there's so many pages. Okay, so you have the months and then it's just daily pages after that. So January 1st and a blank page, right? And it's like that the whole year. And I don't think, this is my first time ever even holding one. I don't think, yeah, that's, that's how it goes. So it literally ends... There's the last day of the year, and then there's two additional blank pages and a place for your info. So in terms of the grid size, I can already tell just by looking at this. I'll just zoom in here. I can already tell this grid is smaller. In fact, let me bring out... Oh my gosh, yeah, wow. Okay, so here is a comparison. This is the Hobonichi five-year grid. This is tiny, tiny. Oh, I actually don't know how I feel about that because I I love the look of writing inside the grid, but honestly, that is very small. I know people have commented about that before. Let me see if I can bring out, let me bring out another couple of planners so I can show you some other comparisons. with. I have an old Hobonichi cousin so here so I'm pretty sure the grid is the same throughout all Hobonichi like in terms of the grid size but I will also add and I hadn't thought to mention this before that so this is like more of a white Tamo River paper this is more the five-year Hobonichi is more yellow similar to the weeks and then the Midori Oh gosh, I don't know if it's going to show up. I have mostly natural light in here right now, but the Midori is actually, it's very similar to this. Like, I don't think, like, if you weren't really looking at this, I don't think you could tell the difference between these two, but I will say that the, the Midori is more, leans more cream white than yellow, like this one. So it's almost like this one's a tad bit more white than that. But yeah, the grid is tiny. I'd almost say, oh gosh, it's hard to tell. It's almost like, I don't think it's a fourth of that size. It's tiny though. I'll have to get the measurements. So anyway, that's, so here's the Hobonichi Cousin for comparison. What else? This is my A6 right now. Go to like a blank. So yeah, you can kind of see the difference. And then these are actually Sterling Ink notebooks. I think her grid's gonna be a little different in the new dated 2024 planners. But here's the grid size for comparison. This is the week size Sterling Ink, which I think is really close, if not the same as Hobonichi. And then as you can see, obviously the Midori is still really tiny. And then here's a, this is a TN, standard TN Sterling Ink. I'm obsessed with these, they're so pretty. So there's comparison there. And I know that the Sterling Ink pages are more white Okay, so that gives you an idea of grid size, which is tiny. And then also for more details on these pages, I am happy though that for the most part, I mean, it's so thick, right? It's not going to lay perfectly flat. I don't even know if that's the intention behind it. So it's not a perfectly flat book. If that's what you were looking for, you're not going to get that with the Midori Hibino. Um... What I do like though, I do like that you've got, you've got all this in English, which is nice. You've got a place here for the weather if you want. 
And then there is, I don't know if this is picking up on camera. There's a very faint line here, a little more than a third of the way, I'd say, across the page, on the left page. I don't think, yeah, I'm not seeing any darker lines on this side. But that's kind of nice if you wanted to do your dates here. And it looks like it starts, you've got a little space, and then it starts at four and goes all the way to four. So that's that's wild. Um, I, I'll have to put it in the description how many lines there are and how many grids. I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, how am I going to possibly, what am I going to want to want this to look like? The other thing too to consider is because it's so thick, any kind of deco or stickers, I mean, it's just, it's already so chunky. Like for comparison, this is my English um, Hobonichi Techo. Let me take it out of this mode term. And I haven't even, I mean, I've done a couple months worth of deco and it's already getting pretty, pretty chunky. There we go. Just from, I think there was like two solid months of deco and I'm still catching up. <laughs> like tons of deco. But, and it's already getting chunky. Can you imagine how how chunky this would get. So anyway, worth considering. So that's that one. Let's go ahead. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison too. Oh, and I guess we can also, let's see if it fits in this. This is so stunning. I'm so glad I, I got this one. I think they still sell it. This is for the five year. I think this should fit. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a little tight. I will admit it's a little tight. Yeah, you have like, ooh, it doesn't quite fit. There's like a little bit of, like if I really tug it, I can get it. Maybe if I could, no, it's in there all the way. So if like I really pull, it'll cover, but you've got like maybe a millimeter or so of overhang, barely. It would work, but that's interesting. You don't really need a cover for this though, because it is so, like it is a really thick cover. Wow, this is beautiful. Honestly, I'm torn. I don't know which one I like better. They're both so unique and the texture on it really makes it look like it's real leather. And it's got, it's like, it's soft, but it's not, and it's, it's smooth, but it has like a texture to it. If that makes sense. Um, but it's not like a sticky texture. Like I really, really like it really nice. So again, you same kind of thing. You've got the gold embossed. Same with the spine. Oh, that's so stunning. And then this is going to be the same throughout. I don't know what kind of paper this is. I will say, I don't think it's Tama River. I will say it's very similar. It almost feels a little glossier than the Tama River. So I'm curious how it's gonna take with some of the pens I use. And then I'm not quite sure how like watercolor would do. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like Stalogy paper though. Yeah, I'll have to figure out what it is. Um, yeah, I won't go through this one cause we already went through the interior, but same thing. And you can see here the way they've bound this, it, it's like two, two sections like two almost like two planners so that's where the middle is and 
and you've got a little bit of that gap right there, right? But that's nice. So we can do a comparison side by side of these two. Um, I'll also go out on my patio and I'll do natural uh, artificial light in here too so you can see the difference. Oh, they're so pretty. I really love these colors they chose because I feel like even though this is a more of a mint blue. It still really could go with just about anything. And then obviously this one. So let me go ahead and turn on my overhead light. This overhead light is definitely more of a warm yellow. And it's still light outside, so we're getting that natural light intertwined with this, but you can see. These are beautiful. I'm really happy I got them. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna use them for. I definitely don't wanna do any deco, I don't think. And it would be cool. It would be nice if I could be consistent with what kind of pen. Part of me wants to try to write inside that grid, you guys. It's just so tiny, so I don't know. Um, that's the perfectionist side of me for sure. But wow, so pretty. It's almost like I wanna start using them now. And I could, I guess. So let's go out. I'll take you out of my patio and you can see it in uh, more natural uh, sunlight. So I'm in my living room on one of my couches right now. I wanted this lighting is really nice. This, we don't have any overhead lights and you're, it's really, really sunny outside, but the lighting in here is more, it's not direct sunlight. So I wanted to show you 